Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize for being so late. I had some technical difficulties. I had to sh down my computer and do all kinds of wild stuff, man. Uh, just to get this thing up and going and working the correct way. So finally, it's back. I don't, you know, so, you know, we here. We got some stuff to talk about, man. Now, we're going to start off with talking about the Versus TV stuff. You know what I mean? We're going to get into some of that versus TV stuff. We're going to talk about Nelly and Ludacris. Talk about KRS One and Big Daddy Kane. And anything else that comes across the board, we're going to jump into it and talk about it. Have a good time with it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for being here once again. And let me get the guys in the chat on over here. All right, we got Big Freezy, Guillermo. We got Isaiah. We got Joe 170. In the chat, so we're gonna go ahead and get this thing on and popping, man. <laughs> Isaiah, what's going on, man? Hey, sir. Let me first and foremost shout out to my little sis. Shout out to Janora, man. I'm really proud of her. I shed a tear today. Jariah, 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 Jory, Jory, I... <laughs> <laughs> Jariah, You, you know what I'm talking about. Isaiah, you can't Yo, say shout out to my little sis and then get the name wrong. I'm I'm, hey man, it's, it's late o'clock, man. I'm tired. I'm, I'm tired, but I'm really proud of her, son, man. I'm really proud of her. I'm proud of her choice that she made, man. And you know, yeah, she's gonna, yeah. gonna be big things for her. You know, appreciate that. Don't man. don't let Andrew talk to her because he gonna not. tell her to go back in the kitchen. I'm not. And for those who don't know, my daughter she plays basketball, and uh, the other day she committed to one of our local schools. It's a junior college, but she is getting a scholarship to play there. So there it goes. She signed her letter of intent the other day. She wanted to have this summer uh, for recruitment, but, you know, to try to get one last look. But obviously everything is shut down. So she went ahead, signed a letter of intent. And there you go. She signed it the other day. She's going to be playing. So, yeah, she's doing some things, man. Uh, Nick, I'm going to come to you first, man. Did you get a chance to see Erica Badu and Jill Scott? What would you think about it? No, nah, man. Um, I need to though, but because I, you know, is uh, Jill Scott is one of my favorite artists as well as Erica Badu. But you know, Erica, man, I think she she got it. I, I gotta listen to it though. It was good, man. Listen, I'm, I'm gonna say this: the one thing about them two when they went on is, uh, like, where everybody else that went on, at least the ones that I've seen, the RZA, DJ Premier. Uh, Scott Storch and, and Manny Fresh, mm. Babyface and, and um, Teddy Riley. The chemistry yeah. wasn't always there. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. You know, the chemistry would be a little bit off. They just didn't like really mesh that well. The chemistry wasn't there. Uh, I think because Jill Scott and Erica Badu are friends, the chemistry was there. So one of the reasons why I didn't watch it is because I watched the Teddy Riley um, baby face one and I hated that battle. It, <laughs> there was nothing about it that was appealing to me. Like they, they were just all over the place. They didn't know how to use the technology. You know, it, it was off. Yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. It, it, it was. And, and I think, you know, as time, as they keep doing it, they keep doing it. It'll probably mm. get better. You're not going to get super duper great quality. There is a way you can get really good quality. And you would think that they know how to do it. But I don't know why yeah. they can't do it. But, you know, the quality hasn't been, um, you know, that great. But at least if we can, you know, you keep it up, you can hear the music. It should be good with Babyface and, and Teddy Riley. I don't know why they couldn't get it together, man. They, they, they're both producers. I mean, I, I guess, you know, they don't handle yeah. the technical stuff in the background. You know, they just do the artwork yeah. of it, you know, but. And then, you know, the one thing that about from a technological standpoint, like, you know, you can't have a camera crew coming in to set it up for you, you know, right, right, because right. it's Corona right. time and all this stuff. So, I mean, but they, I mean, it's not like they can't read, you know, they should be able to read a damn manual. <laughs> just get it right. <laughs> Right. Get it right, man. Right. But I mean, but yeah. it was good. There weren't any technical issues. Right. Yeah. They were able to just uh, you know, go ahead, you know, play music. The one the only hiccup that I thought there was is that 
from the beginning, they were playing the entire song. And I was like, yo, we'll be here. Each, each person is doing 20 songs. We'll be here all night long. You know, yeah. if, if you're going to play the entire songs. But yeah. other than that, man, it was great. You know, it, 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 it was really good. And I'm hoping for this next one, Nelly versus Ludacris, you have the Dude. same kind of... You're not going to have the same vibe. Though. You're not going to have the same vibe. Competition. What'd you say? <laughs> I mean, Nelly's not good, not good like Ludacris, you know? Well, like, well, well you know, it's not going to be the same vibe, right? Because both Jill Scott and Erica Badu are really good, right? Yeah. Uh, Nelly and Ludacris, you know, um, Ludacris, listen, Ludacris, is, Ludacris does a lot. I would have liked to see Ludacris and Busta Rhymes. You know, I, I thought that might have yeah. been a little bit better because they're yeah. both going to be entertaining. They both got this outgoing personality and they both got, you know, some, you know, some songs, you know, Nelly has some hits. Obviously yeah. he's got hits, you know, so, uh, but I, hopefully actually, just the you chemistry, know you know, I'll, the I'll chemistry. Say, oh, go ahead. My bad. Luda and T.I. would have been a nice one, like a battle for Atlanta. Luda, Luda I, I and T.I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would have been a nice one. Because they both got hits and they both pretty much from Atlanta. It's just two different styles of rappers. Um, you know, one is a punchline rapper. The other one is more like a hard nose. It's almost like if Jay-Z was to go up against, um, who's a punchline rapper at his time? Um, you know, just a punchline rapper at the time. You know, it's like two different styles. And I think that would have been nice. A contrasting style for Atlanta. Right, right, right. Um I just hope that, you know, together when they sit down, it's it's not just boring, right? They can bring the energy, yeah. it can be fun, you know, you know, do, you know, crack a jokes, talking, whatever. Uh I guess it's good to have artists that have some history together. I don't know how much history these two have together, but have some history so that they can tell yeah. stories and do those type of things because that's part of it. Being able to tell stories and this and that. Like with Erica Badu and Jill Scott, I was not aware that Erica Badu wrote songs for Jill Scott and Jill Scott wrote songs for Erica Badu. Wow. You Man. know? As a matter of fact, I mean, some of the biggest hits that you have heard of, they wrote for each other. Wow. You know, yeah, that, so that, that, was, that was crazy. You know what I'm saying? That, that, was, that was crazy. Uh, the one question I have, right? Because we were, we, were, we were doing... We were comparing people, okay, who's, uh, uh, you know, who should battle who? A lot of people said Lauren Hill and Erica Badu. Oh, my God. But Lauren don't have the hits, though. She don't have, she has hits, which is that album. But after that album, what else does she have besides the Fuji stuff? Right. I mean, the, the thing is, right, she can play some of the Fuji stuff because they allow you to play, you know, other people. And Guillermo, I'm about to... Uh, unmute you as well so you and you and nick are both unmuted you know so she can play stuff from the fujis and then just about every song on the miseducation of lauren hill the only thing is we know what's coming right because she had limited yeah, she has yeah. limited music um that's my favorite that's one of my favorite albums man she yeah. agreed one yeah, of the greatest that albums is, of all time man of all yeah. time man that's, that's a whole beautiful time. album right there um so now that Okay, Erica Badu and Jill Scott, they did their thing. If Lauren Hill was to battle, who? Who? Yeah, but she only got one album, though. And then the uh, Mystery of Iniquity on the, the uh, album with no, uh, with no beats. Like Kanye said. Right. I mean, sure. I, I mean, mean, um, I mean, she only has one album, yeah, but she's still a legendary artist that people would like to see in that format, I think. And, and no offense, him, honestly, I've seen Lauren Hill um, when she was at Rock the Bells 2011. She legit might come two hours late. Like, I, I'm oh, yeah, she I'm might be asking you whatsoever. Yeah, she might. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yo, bro. Bro, like, I missed I missed, I missed I missed Mob Deep because of how the Rock the Bells was set up that year. I missed Mob Deep and I missed Raekwon and Ghostface because if I left my area, because I would my where I was in my area, that's where Erica Badu was. And I forgot who else performed after that. But if I left my spot, 
I wouldn't be able to get back to that stage in that spot for Nas. Mm -hmm. And when Lauren was there, she came like an hour and a half late and she was singing all those hits in this garbage rent. Literally no, everybody was just sitting down like, yo, on the grass. It's like, yo, this is garbage. Like you even saw white girls like, yo, this is, what the hell is this? And it was like, yo, this is trash. I miss Ghostface and Raekwon and Mob Deep to hear Lauren Hill do all her classics on some trash hour late, hour and a half late. Wow. So yeah, I'm good on Lauren Hill. I love Lauren Hill's music, but that's, I that's mean, a I mean, that moment. She ain't you, coming you're back. You're right. It, it, she very well could come two hours late, not show up, whatever, you know. Yep. <laughs> you know, yeah. it, that that's definitely the truth. Uh, what do you take? Oh, go ahead, Nick. Last time I heard her perform, I, I mean, I didn't think her voice was that was that good either. Mm. I now, think, yeah, she might something. It might be just her not work. I mean, she, I don't know. She had stress or whatever, or depression after the she caught her husband cheating, or whatever. So everything's kind of fall down. But if you don't work yeah. those vocal cords and stuff after years, you smoke, drink. Yeah, man. You destroy it, man. It for you. Yeah, man. So what do you take? Gamo, Nelly, and Luda. It's tough, man, because Nelly has Nelly. What I don't think Nelly has the catalog to compete with Luda. But honestly, once Luda cut the braids off and he started rapping slower and try to be more so-called lyrical, I stop. I I didn't like him as much anymore. Like Theater of the Mind, like those albums. I was like, ah. His heyday was like in my eighth grade when he was, oh, you know, move out the way, be, uh, you know what I mean? Like those type of rump them up. So I think both their catalogs are going to be weak after a while. And I don't know who Nelly has written for to, or, you know, pr produced for to be like, oh, yeah, I made this song. I was like, oh, Nelly made that song. Same to Ludacris. So this might be a, this might be a lackluster one. This might be a, <laughs> a, 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 a hour and one or maybe 45 minutes, something like that. I just feel like. <laughs> You know, both their catalogs kind of fall off. Um, yeah, I mean, they, they, I mean, they do. They kind of fall off, but they they got some hits. They both got yeah. some hits. They both got hits. Right? They, they both got some hits. But do yeah. they have twenty hits a piece? Twenty. I think Luda got twenty. Hmm. Luda got twenty because that first album, Incognito. You got um, what's your fantasy? You got um, what was the other one off that album? God, I mean, he got he even got that freestyle that was on the albums that was on there. Like he got some stuff. Hey, so yeah, yeah Nelly is. N does Nelly have uh, Nelly? Might play a couple country songs. Oh, oh, cut that. <laughs> I'm mean, serious, though. And then they're over my head. It, 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 he, yo, over he and might. Over again. Over and over again. Get that crap to F. I have. No, no. <laughs> no. Nelly no, might no. play some, he might play some country songs, man. I don't know. You know what I mean? You said Busta and I forgot who else you. I want to see Busta and Missy Elliott, man. Yes. I, yeah, I, I would love to see yes. Buster and Missy Elliott. Buster's I, longevity I, I, and what interesting he, he don't like. But even if you don't like, you have to admit that Buster has had hits for years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go and back. Missy, I don't know what, what did Missy kill somebody in the industry or something. She does not get enough praise in the industry, bro. Like, say no. what you want, her and that Timberland combination. That was like. That was butter, man. They they yeah. had a lot of hits, man. And Missy just doesn't. A lot of how these women act out now in terms of freedom to, like, be raunchy. But I mean, you've had little Kim myself, but she made it. She made it like not taboo to talk about certain things like female sexuality, right? She made it not seem so because little Kim was like, "Oh, what the hell is this? This girl spreading her legs and all that." And Missy was dancing to the beat, talking about like, you know, I need a bigger man and all that stuff. But it was like, oh yeah, you know. That's cool. That's a nice thing. So I think Missy's one of the most underrated artists of all time. So I would love to see a verse with her, man. True. True. I know yeah, she's praised, yeah. but she... Nah, I mean, listen, Missy and Buster, to me, they're like the, the same person. One is a woman, one is a man. 
you know, as far as making music is concerned. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I know I know Sim was feeling himself when she came out with Hot Boys with Nas. I, mm -hmm. I know. Oh, and Big Yo, that Freezy was too. Joint, though. That was, that was like that Big was... Freezy's favorite song for like the whole year. So Big Freezy was wearing leather jackets and Q-tip leather pants, the walking with a fire burning. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, that joint was hitting though. Q tip. <laughs> Two you know I mean? I'm sorry. Yeah, Freezy. I had to, man. I just I just had to bring the Nas thing, man. Go ahead, Freezy. Go ahead, Freezy. Big Freezy, you there? Yo, anything with Nas in it is dope. Yeah. Yeah, yeah can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Not every song. Can you hear me, Sam? Anything with Nas in it is dope. Yeah. Anything with Nas in it is dope. I hear you. So, Freezy, what do you think about Ludacris and Nelly? Right. Big Freezy, Ludacris and Nelly, what you think? Um, I like Luda. And and can, can you hear me, man? I can hear you. You probably got to mute those guys in can the background. Okay. All right. Sure. Sure. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right, can you hear me now, Sam? Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear okay. you. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> yeah, when it when it when it comes to when it comes to um when it comes to um Luda, I, I disagree with Guillermo just a teeny bit. I kind of enjoy um the theater of mine. You know, what I'm saying I like a couple songs on there. The um the one more drink joint was dope to me, and um and there's a song on there with Jay Z and Nas. I don't know if y'all remember. Yeah. But anything with Nas in it though, y'all already I remember know how that. I feel. I remember that. Uh, and so, but um, they also had uh, another joint, and they also had a joint with um, um, Luda had a joint with like a collabo. Um, um, I know what them girls like or whatever it is. The first time I heard it, it was at a party, and it was so dope coming through the sound system. You know, I kind of enjoyed that. Um, kind of enjoyed that. So, but um, in terms of Nelly, I like a lot of Nelly joints, man. Nelly has a lot of number ones that are slept on, like that joint he did with um, Kelly Rowland. You remember the joint he did with Kelly Rowland? It was the number one song in the country for like a month. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. Um, I remember that. I forget the name of it, man. Um, um, but it, 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 they used to play it everywhere you go. And it was like, and then there was a joint called Air Force Ones that was dope by Nelly, too. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Um, produced by Manny Fresh. That was dope. I remember we used to we used to play a basketball team from Columbia, and they used to come out to that joint. You know what I'm saying? So Nelly Nelly had some 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 joints, man. He didn't just have like one or two one or two joints. He had some that was that you once you hear them, you'll probably be like, oh yeah, I remember that. But um, you know, in terms of of measuring him up against Luda, I don't know if you can measure him up against Luda, man. I think it'll be you know Luda had area codes. Um, all kind of joints with all kind of people, man. Especially that disturbing the peace period era that Guillermo was talking about. Right, that was dope too. Right, right. We'll see. Yeah, you know, Nelly might jump, go back and 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 pull out some Saint Lunatic stuff or something like that. You know, I don't know. Uh, interested to see. I'm definitely going to be streaming it live on Saturday at seven. I'll be streaming it live, so make sure that you join us. Oh. I do want to say to everybody. Uh, this Friday, make sure you jo you uh, you join in this Friday, especially if you if you sent in some independent music. Make sure that you join me on Friday uh, because we're going to be reviewing some more independent music. We uh, we'll be doing Underground Radio episode number two. We'll be looking at some independent music. Oh, I'm going to do about ten to twelve songs. Uh, we will email you if your song is what's coming up next. So make sure you stay next to or check in your emails uh, so you know if you're gonna be if you're gonna be on the show or not. And basically, you know, we're gonna listen to it. We'll talk about it for a minute or two, and then we'll give it a thumbs up or thumbs down to make the playlist. The playlist is not up yet; it's being curated right now. All right. So, and if you got independent music and you haven't sent it in, make sure that you send it in. Build knowledge 7 at gmail.com. You can send that music in and we'll take a listen to it. You know what I'm saying? So so make sure that you do that right away. And what I'm going to do in the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, um, as in the, I am going to play a little track here just so we can listen to something. I am going to play that big joint. 
that was the unreleased verse from Static Selector. You know what I mean? That joint right there was dope. And then we'll come back and we're going to talk about... Uh, we'll talk about KRS-One and Big Daddy Kane. If they would ever do a versus battle, KRS-One, Big Daddy Kane, or maybe even KRS-One and Rakim. We're going to talk about that, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead. Let's take a listen to this Biggie joint real quick. Ain't no more verses. <laughs> Got shit rocking like I'm about to just drop some new shit. Oh. Uh. Steps out the pad with your duffel bag. All the guns I had, shipping granddad. About to make his mama say, I can't stand him and I don't know him. And he don't even know I'm about to blow him. About to show him. What goes around comes around. He should have thought about it. Now he got to talk to God about it. I mean, it's nothing come between us. Four fifth and the head center. I got a scope with the info. Oh, boy. How a nigga got to meet this fate. The faggot got Jason on a slice of plate. Motherfucker. Any talking, that's the gap about the spark. Lord forgive me, bet you part. Hey, Playboy. I like that joint right there. You know, that I wish that that verse was heard elsewhere. You know what I'm saying? But it did not get heard elsewhere. I would have liked to have heard that verse uh, on an album, on a record, or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, too, bad, too bad it did not get heard. You know, too bad it did, did not get heard. Let me get over here. You know, back over here. I want to find out what these guys think about I want to find out what these guys think about, you know, the possibility of KRS-One and Big Daddy Kane battling. I'm going to start with Freezy because Freezy. Oh, no, no. Oh, I'm starting with you, Freezy. You know what I'm saying? Because I know how you feel about Big Daddy Kane. You know what I'm saying? So Big Freezy, talk to me, man. Big Daddy Kane. KRS One. What's what's up? Why you want to see this dude get washed on national TV, man? You know this dude is washed up, man. This dude been washed since '89. Why we want to see this dude battle somebody, man? KRS want to watch this dude, man. Why we want to, man? Big Daddy Kane is trash. This dude had this dude wore a bullfighter suit to a just a don't curse video shoot. He trash, man. This dude is man. That would be like the biggest waste of time. Ever. Why we want to see, man? You think we got on Mr. Cheeks, man? Come on, dog. I mean, Big Daddy Kane ain't showed us that he can do anything since 1989. I mean, does Big Daddy Kane have? Does do either one of them have 20 hits? Crazy. Can you Do either one of those guys have 20 hits? No. Kane probably has more commercially. Hmm? No. You talking about commercially accepted hits? I think Big Daddy Kane probably has more because he came out with more in a shorter time. You know what I'm saying? Like Kane had the the um um the uh, the New Jack Swing era. And then he had the hardcore street era, and that was like a three-year stretch. But after that, he's trash. And KRS-One at least had street hits all along the way. You know what I'm saying? And he even had joints with um, Channel Live and Mad Lion, and you know, all the way through until like he had his own little uh, commercial success, the, um, success with the uh, the Raptor joint that y'all like. You know what I'm saying? But um, I don't think they have 20 hits, you know what I'm saying? 20 mega hits, you know what I'm saying? Right, now, nah, of course, they, so. they, but, they, they never really Kane, had, Kane they never really had the mega said, hits. You know, he, you know they, 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 they never really right, had, right. neither one of them had mega hits. Right, right. Mega but Kane hits. also came, was reckless. 
Mega, mega, right, right, like platinum joints, right. But I, I don't know, man. Would I, they I even do know. it? Would they even I, do I, it? I think that dude is past his prime, man. He, you know. Yeah, but they're not. I, I would love to see KRS. But they're not battling. They're playing music, just like, just like. I mean, KRS you know, one would. Huh? No, I'm saying they're not battling. They're playing music, just like. Um, you know, just like just like uh uh Erica Badu and Jill Scott did and Nelly and Luda getting ready to do. They're not battling, they're just playing music. They're playing their old songs, so it's not like they got a rap. No, Sam, did you see the IG interview that Big Daddy Kane did? Talking about, you know, battling uh yeah, yeah, he just did. He just did. He just did the interview talking about battling uh, either either KRS One or Rakim. Oh my God! Uh, so he, so when I saw that man, it just turned me off to it. And I know they just be playing music, you know. what I'm saying for the sake of reminiscing, you know. what I'm saying for the COVID thing, and you know, what I'm saying putting their stuff out there and all that. But I don't, I don't know, man. I, I would love to see. The KRS One Big Daddy Kane um, battle, just so that I can see some original Kane, hear some original Kane when he was the real Big Daddy and not the Prince of Darkness. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, I mean, I'd love to hear that early Kane stuff. You know, I, you know, I love that stuff to be honest with you. But you know what I'm saying? When my man start wearing them satin shirts and you know walking around just like a bullfighter, I just wasn't feeling feeling them. He looked like a a hip hop prince. You know, so I just wasn't feeling that. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, oh, okay. I mean, he probably had like, you know, eight to 10 songs that I would love to listen to. But, um, but you know, 20, when you start getting into that joint he did with Barry White and the joint, you know, he did with, you know, um, Blue, not Blue Magic, The Dramatics, I think it was, somebody. I, I ain't just, I ain't feeling that. I, I mean, I don't know, it's you know. He whack. I mean, listen, I'm a Big Daddy Kane fan, so I love to see Big Daddy Kane up there you know, now chemistry wise, him and KRS, I don't know if the chemistry would work as far as them being on the IG live, but Rock right. him and Big Daddy Kane, I think the chemistry would work. You know, they both kind of got the smooth, you know, kind of cool temperament. You know, you know, KRS one, I don't know. Right. You know, I I know the one thing that Big Daddy Kane did say is I think I think you know the the one thing he did say is um. He said a little something where he was like, if we could do it. So I, I don't know exactly what he was saying. I don't know if, you know, maybe they had something in the past between the two. But he was like, if we could do it. You know, da 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 you know, but I don't know. Go ahead. What was he going to say? I think he's scared. Big Daddy I think he's scared. I think he knows his role. You know what I'm saying? I think he know when he, yes, yes, I think he's scared. I think he know that 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 you know beginning Kane, Big Daddy Kane was was you know what I'm saying was a ferocious MC, but you know that dude that came off tour with Patti LaBelle and was taking um, video shoots with Madonna is not the same dude, and he can't recapture it. You hadn't heard him recapture it in anything. Well, I mean, I agree. He, I mean, I know not... we just I know we you talking about just playing the music. Yeah. Yeah, you know, he's not going to recapture. He's just going to play the music, but... Now, I feel you. Let me, let me, let me get around here. Let me see what some right, other people right, think about it. Uh, Jay, uh, Joe 170, uh, let Joe right. know I'm coming to him. I want to know what he thinks about Big Daddy Kane and... Uh, Big Daddy Kane and KRS-1 doing a versus battle. Joe, what's popping, I bro? I don't know. I, I'd rather see uh, Kane versus... Oh, uh, Rakim. Okay. I'd rather see that battle. Um, okay. It match, to me, it matches more. You know what I'm saying? They basically about, you know, the same kind of style almost. I mean, KRS-One, you got, you know, you start getting political and all that, and that kind of might throw me off a little bit. <laughs> you know what I mean? He might start getting, you know, that Righteous. black power, righteousness stuff, and uh, to me, that's somewhere. it'll take away from the battle. You do. Hmm. You yeah, think rather, you think he will? I mean, because you know, KRS One was you know he was always an MC though first, right? Like an MC first. He might you know just kind of know. 
I don't know. It's hard to say. I guess when you look at the music, though. Yeah, I'm saying like you know, a, what his music is like about. Style of music. You know yeah. what? Yeah, like what the music is, is about is kind of different. Right, might force him to not force him, but lead him into. You know, you know, you know, just drop right, a little right. bit of knowledge. And you know, Rock Cam, Rock Cam, and, and Big Daddy Kane, they kind of got like that similar fast flow. So it's like, you know, what I'm saying it'll be. I think that will be better. Okay. Who would win? <laughs> who, who would who win between Big Daddy Kane and Rock Kim? They did a versus TV battle. Who would win? Ooh, that's a good one. Um, who do you think it won? Out of who? Rock Kim and Big Daddy Kane. Big Daddy Kane. Yeah, my wife says Big Daddy Kane. Going with she's going with Big Daddy Kane. Um, yeah, she's going with Big Daddy Kane. Um, that's a, it's hard, man. It's, that's tough, to man. Me, that's a toss up. That's like that's a toss. That's a um toss up. It can go either way. I think to me it depends on who has the most hits, whose catalog is better. But as far as I mean, they they both lyrical. They both could flow. It's just to me, I think it comes down to the catalog. Right, right. I mean, they both got they both got hits. They both can flow. I mean, I don't know who got more hits. Who, who had? That's what I'm saying. Who has more hits? It's now the hard. thing is, like Rakim got some stuff that you know, like I mean, I guess you know, Big Daddy Kane got some stuff. Rakim had, but Rakim has something that's more recent, right? As opposed to Big Daddy Kane, because I ain't hear nothing for Big Daddy Kane in a minute. I know Man. at least with the like Rakim, he had the joint with um, what was that chick name? Um, Rock. Rock Cam. Man, what's the the song that you always play? Um, with with Rock Cam and the lady that she sings. Truth addicted. Truth addicted. Yeah, that was that was like more recent than than, than Big Daddy. Big Daddy King. Yeah, and then they got he got the Watcher with Dr. Dre. He I got mean, the Watcher with Dr. You know, Dre. That's, um, with Dr. Dre. The, you know, so that's a little bit more recent that that can change that on, the tide right there. Album too, right? He was on Dr. who? Dre. Dr. Dre and Hope had that song on both of their albums. Right, exactly. He so, had it on, you know, uh, Hope yeah. had it on S. Dark Carter, and then Dre had it on his joint. Yeah. And 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 Rakim got a joint that could, of course, you know, uh, I'm a little biased, right? You know, but he got a joint with Alicia Keys and Nas, the New York State of Mind joint, that was never oh, really what? released. I didn't hear that joint. You never heard it? Oh, nah. Man. New York State of Mind, like, like the one that um, she did with Jay-Z? So this came out before Empire State of Mind. Mm. It came out before Nevada, Empire State Rock of Kim Mind. Nas it was Rakim, Nas, and who else? Alicia Keys? It's Rakim, Nas, and Alicia Keys. It's called Rock Streets of New York. Streets of New York. Yeah. yeah. So, so, so... Rock can throw like, that out there. Recent. Yeah, he has more recent. I haven't ever heard nothing for. I yeah, I mean, if that he, can't make nothing since in this era. Right. So, so Rock Kim could throw that out there. As a matter of fact, since you never heard it, I'm gonna go ahead and play it. All right, check this out. All right. Nasty. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yo, black. It's time again. Yeah. Come here. Yeah. If you knew my streets, you would know all everybody talk about is who got beat, who snitching, who told police, who came home, who still gone, who resting in peace. Now they killing over music, money, not drugs, rap replaced it, cause thugs with no brains got no patience. New jacks, I pissed to whip them with the funky rhythm, I be kicking. Musician, inflicting composition, a pain, I'm like Saddam Hussein, still alive, looking at his dead children. Children's birth remains, I birthed the game, learned you lame, the new lesson, your true soft man, y'all need some new weapons, the peace breed warriors and scullers and timbies, around mix, spicks, niggas and guineas, for my ghetto kings and deep thought, we don't blink, but don't think we wasting our time, it's a New York state of mind. New York, New York, New York, New York City, New York, New York, New York, New York City. Time. It's like a jungle out here. So much struggle out here. And my dreams are red. Please get cousins of death. Always feels like a race against my time. 
From the home of a million legends, trench setting, a lot of footsteps to follow. I've been stepping, mind stressing, trying to find direction, crime spreading. Time precious, I ain't had rest since 9-11. I live fast, hustle like today is my last. I get cast to struggles like a day on the ad. Crack the and raw, gas squeezing all, the hat squeezing all, from casualties to war. The evil, the apocalypse, evil people with politics, every block is a risk of metropolitan metropolis. The opposite of lies of Manelli and Frank Sinatra. Alicia Keys, Nars, and Raw with the gangsters I brought. So New York City, walk with me, talk, Benny. It's up to us, New York, it's our city. Hear the man come with the anthem, hands up. It's time to thrill us back, New York, to stand up. New York, New York, New York, New York City. Whoa. New York, New York, New York, New York City. Crucial keys. New York City. 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 Yo, it, 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 that that joint was never released, man. Um, I I wish that that was released instead of Empire State of Mind. Empire State of Mind still might have been a bigger hit, but yeah, nah. But anything with that that beat though from the Illmatic album, crazy, right? Crazy. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Crazy. We should have a, we should um, have, they should do a a whole versus Beyonce. They should do it in a crib. <laughs> say say that again. They should do a whole versus Beyonce. They should do it in their crib. <laughs> right, that'd be crazy. Beyonce might smoke his boots off. <laughs> yeah. You know, Big Daddy Kane, Big Daddy Kane did some. He did a freestyle. I guess he did a show. He did a whole show on IG Live, I guess. I, I didn't get oh, to hear all of it, you know what I mean? But cool. he did a whole show on got, IG Live. I don't got any social media, so I wouldn't be. Only thing I'm in tune with was the YouTube chain. Um, yeah. But uh, that joint right there was mean. That was that mean, was man. Tough. That was mean. That was mean. Uh, that's the last thing. I mean, Rock Kemp's had a couple of things on his own since then, but that's the yeah. last thing that was, and that that's wasn't even saying, out. Like, that wasn't even put out uh, uh, or published anywhere. You know what I mean? Right. I guess what happened is it got leaked, and so never got yeah, out. That's, that's you know what, what I'm mean? saying. Like, what was the last? What was the last thing that you could remember from from Kane? Yo, I don't. <laughs> I don't tough. remember the last joint from Kane. I don't know. I seen somebody in the chat. Say that Kane was on something in in two thousand and one or something. I don't know. He's no, nah, he didn't say two thousand one. I think Triborough said Kane, uh, Big Daddy Kane was on something. I don't remember what he said. Yeah, but it wasn't enough because I ain't hear it. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. Uh, yeah, that yeah. Joint, that joint to be that that'll, that'll be it'll it'll be a good joint. But I think that uh, I think Rock Kemma edge him out. Think Rock Kemma edge him out. Yeah. I think so too. I think Rock Kim. I'm, I'm biased though, cause Rock Kim. That's my that's my dude. I'm a, I'm a huge Rock Kim fan. You know what I mean? So, yeah, you know, I'm I'm a little biased. I'm gonna come to my man Andrew. Andrew, I'm coming to you now, my man. Let me get you unmuted. Go ahead, man. What's up, man? Yo, thanks for having me on, Sim. But you talking about Rock Kim versus Big Daddy King? Yes, yeah, yes, sir. Well, I mean, me, I'm a Rock Kim fan, but I gotta keep it. I gotta keep it a thousand. It gotta go to Big Daddy King. Because mm-hmm. Rakim ain't never won a battle Big Daddy came back in the day. Everybody know that. Everybody, Jay-Z and Fab, they got their style from Big Daddy Kane. Big, you got this, Big Daddy Kane is the best ever. Because Big Daddy Kane could perform. You know what I mean? He could rap. He had lyrics. He had, he had the total package. So you got to go with Kane. Kane, if, if they do a battle for battle, they can't beat Kane because Kane could dance. And he could, he's lyrical. His whole style is, is is Jay-Z and Fab. They got this, everybody got their style from Big Daddy Kane. You know what I mean? But I mean Rock Kim is my you know, out, out of the two, I like Rock Kim more, but I gotta give it to Kane. Big Daddy Kane is just better, man. In terms in terms of that. Like, you know what I mean? And now, Rock Kim I mean, didn't want to battle the, him. Right. I mean, the thing is, the thing is, if they're doing on IG Live, they're just gonna throw out the hits. They're not gonna dance and do all that. You know what I'm saying? They're just gonna throw the hits out there. I mean, they're both going to bring you back. It's going to bring you back. The one thing I say is this. The vibe is going to be cool, right? Sim- maybe similar to the Eric Badu and 
Jill Scott vibe, you know, if they do it. Um, excuse me, the vibe is going to be cool. Uh, 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 and then, you know, they both got, definitely got some hits that's going to bring you back. Now, are they going to do the same type of numbers that Eric Badu and Jill Scott did? They was up to like 775,000 people on IG Live. I doubt they're going to do those kind of numbers. But your real hardcore hip hop fans, they're gonna be there, man. Um, yeah, but um, but you know, um, and going back earlier, you were talking about Nelly versus um Luda. I go yeah. with Luda. And as far as um, you said um, KRS One versus I think Big Daddy Cam going Big Daddy Cam. Right, right. But right. I, I would I would like to see. I I don't know how you feel about this, but I would like to see like Fab. Versus Banks or something like that. Fabulous versus Lloyd Banks. I would like to see that. But they mixtape stuff though. But punchlines and things Fabulous like that. Fabulous versus even Pat Lloyd Poulsen Banks. Is. So so check this. So, he, so so here's I want to listen to a little bit of Big Daddy Kane. This is Big Daddy Kane on uh with Funk Flex doing a little freestyle. Right. You know, you know, Big Daddy Kane can still rhyme, though. You know, he he, he can still he can still do his thing. And let me, I'm, I'm yeah. just waiting for it to jump up here, and then I'm gonna play it. Um, you know, let's see if we can get Daddy Kane up there. See what see what he can do. I'm trying I'm, I'm trying to get past the little interview part and wait until you start freestyling. I see you still got to You know, here we go. Here we go. All right, let's get one, it. two. One, two. People say that I stood the best of time. If that's the case, I'ma stand the rest of time. Never been known as a man who lag. Don't stop till Papa got a brand new bag. Pockets on small terabyte bandwidth. You, you get a little bit of green like Stan Smith. And if you don't know where it's at, here we go check the stats. I mean... I know we're talking about doing, you know, we're talking about them guys doing song for song. But now if Big Daddy Kane and Rock Kane battled, just battled. I had to go with Rock Kane all day long, Andrew. I mean, I'm sorry. I had to go with Big Daddy Kane all day long if they just straight up battle. You know what I mean? Yeah. I was about to say this dude came back and it was fire, right? I heard this dude start off on fire. Right, and you did too, because I saw your face when my man started rapping. But towards the end, this dude started fading and fading and fading. I'm like, dog, if it, if it ain't for you no more, dog, just give it up. That's all you got. Nah, man, I thought That's he got better. Opinion, I thought he got better. I thought it got better as it went I mean, on. Yo, yo, Freezy, yo, Freezy, who your favorite nah. rapper, Freezy? Nas. Yo, Freezy. You hear me, nah. Freezy? You got me muted? Please, please, please. Oh, nah, nah. your favorite rapper? No, I hear you. I yeah, that's my favorite rapper, too. Right. Freezy, you wildin', bro. I think he got better. I think he got better as it went on, man. Nah, that Joe, Joe, man. Joe Wild, nah, man. man. Yeah. Come on, man. Hey, hey, Yo, Joe, who your favorite rapper, Joe? Come on, man. Let me get Guillermo. Let me get Guillermo up in here. Nah, and and I'm not, I'm not saying that freestyle though. was you, the you, best you, freestyle you ever heard in your life. But I thought it was, you know. No. Uh, Guillermo, you there? I'm here. Can you hear me? Yeah. Give me a so take, why, man. Uh, Big Daddy Kane and Rock Kim. Big Daddy Kane. And Rock Kim. And, and, you know, a versus battle beat song for song. Uh, it's tough, man. Um, I mean, Big Freezy says Big Daddy Kane fell off, but then didn't Rock Kim's reign kind of wasn't that kind of short too? I, I mean, mean the, the thing is, he's got some more recent stuff. Still, a long time ago, you know, the last time he really, really dropped something that came off not not that he dropped it, but he was on something was The Watcher with Dr. Dre. Oh, that was that was hard, but that, I mean. But the Seven that, Seal. That was his. I think the last album. I think his last album was that ninety five. No, no, no. That that was on the eighteenth letter. He had the eighteenth letter. He had the master. He put out the Seven Seal. The Seven Seal was a high throw by Rock Kim. I'm not gonna lie. That's when he's the like headed on the cover or something like that. Yeah. Uh, oh, he's he just holding sin. That was that was the eighteenth right. letter. That was the eighteenth letter. Eighteenth letter. Yeah. I, uh, Rock Kim and. It's tough, man. It's like, because, uh, and, and think about the people they birthed. Like, 
Rock can birth Nas, Big Daddy Kane, you can say birth Jay Z, Biggie, Biggie, Biggie Jay Z, and Fab. What well, you say Fab was a birth from Biggie? Rock Kim, though, man, like I, uh, I, and I understand what you're saying too, man. Big Daddy Kane performing when he had when he has two the flat tops, so he's doing those those crazy dances and all that stuff. But then, yo, I went to the what's it called the the something of the legends. Remember the one that DMX was supposed to be there? He's supposed to be at the show that I went to that Friday. But Rock Kim performed before him. And when I'm mm-hmm. telling you, you can talk about stage presence, but literally when everyone's singing the word every word to your song, like it got to the point Rock Kim wasn't even. He was just bobbing his head like, yo, like he was just like, yo, very grateful. But he couldn't sing his song because it was like everybody was singing. It's like, all right, I'm not going to do. So I don't know. I think the impact might be just because this sounds crazy, but because Rock Kim had songs that you could probably more famous songs that you could sing along to. I, yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Man. It's crazy because Big Daddy came was nasty, too. But Rock Kim, I mean. Like, Follow the Leader to me is one of my favorite songs. Just because I, I remember that was one of the first videos I watched when I used to go to, like, my relative's house. The one with the, the machine gun, the old school, like, gangster stuff. Yeah. I don't know. I got. I, I might have to pick Rock Him, man. Just because the whole Nas connection, now, man. Nas see, see, see this is what I think. In a, in a, in a, a beat battle, I'm going with Rock Him because I think he got bigger hits. You said in a beat battle? Not a beat battle. You know, like, what they're doing as far as verse versus TV. Right, playing the songs, right, right. Uh, I I gotta go with Rock Kim because I think he got bigger hits than Big Daddy Kane. If they were actually battling, battling, yeah, I just I think I'd go with Big Daddy Kane. If they were battling, like they were actually going to spit some bars, I'd have to go with Big Daddy Kane on that one. I think Big Daddy Kane, he he. But he Rock Kim never wanted, wanted to style. battle him before. He was in a horror that was more that was more of like that New York, the cocky New York bravado. Like he was, I think that he meant a lot more for New York style wise and, and attitude wise. But music wise, Rock Kim, I think is just both stupid, stupidly talented lyricists. Don't get me wrong, yeah, stupidly talented artists. But I gotta give it to Rock Kim, man. Yeah, I hope we see it. You know, either Big Daddy Kane versus Karis won or Big Daddy Kane versus Rock Kim. I think we might see that Big Daddy Kane versus Rock Kim. Uh, I was just looking and I and I seen a uh, uh, just a little headline that Swiss Beats was talking to whoever uh, Joe Budden, I think, about you know trying to get Big Daddy Kane and Rock Kim. You know, so yo, if they do that, man, that's gonna be that's gonna be legend. That's gonna be a legendary one. If if Big Daddy Kane and Karis one went, that'd be a legendary one too. I can't see Karis one and Rock Kim going. Karis one though, I think that would be. I think they still got a little bit of weird energy towards each other. Oh, so I'm not the, sure. Uh, self destruction. Because of the self destruction, I think they still stupid. By the way, I, which, which I, is, you told me that sim, that got me. I'm like, Rock Kim would have. Well, that that also is it. He would have killed it. People are probably jealous of it, but I, him on self destruction. Yeah, I mean, Eesh. yeah, you know, that that would have been that would have been nuts if if he was on self destruction, you know. So, but but there might still be a little bit of a little bit of tension between the two. So I don't know if they could really get up there and do it. You know what I'm saying? Because there might be a little bit of tension between them still. Yeah. They, they just settle it, man. Like you guys, man. It's it's been long enough. Settle it, you know. Let's be honest. I mean, you guys aren't making hit albums now. It'd be good to get your name out so people, some of these younger cats who just want to watch a versus battle, uh, can see what you're all about, man. Like it's just, you know, yeah. Big no Daddy Kane got a song no out one, though. I, 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 I just looked at no it. So did anybody? You know, what I mean, it's just you know, if it's beef, that it, it's just little stupid stuff that happened back in the day, man. Get get over it, or yeah. you know, Big Daddy Kane got a man. song out. He came out petty, man. He got a song out. It's called uh, it's called Night and Day. It was put out March 13th. Karis one and Rock Kim have a song together? No, I said Big Daddy Kane has a song out. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My boy. He's got a song out. It was put out in March. I'm afraid to listen to it. I'm gonna listen to it before I play it. <laughs> oh here, I'm gonna listen to it. I'm afraid to listen you to it. You said you're afraid to now you just gave Big Freezy all the cre- all the credence <laughs> for me, <laughs> Man, oh, nah, I know. Man. That's what I'm saying. Why would you say that, Tim? You could. Yeah, man, that's crazy, man. 
that, 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 that's why I said I'm not gonna listen to it right now because oh, you know he might man. come on with some old, you know, come on the, with some white don't stuff. Don't let Big Freeze you off the hook. This is the same. This is the same material person who try to downplay Run DMC and oh, man. anything that gives, anything that gives, anything that puts a uh, 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 Big Daddy Kane down. Now he's gonna relish it. But Big Freezy has been wrong more times than often. This guy's a hater, son. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Well, hey, man, look, I'm gonna head up out of here, fellas. Uh, I'm gonna head up out of here. You know, Friday, don't forget, man, Friday, we're doing another underground radio session. Thinking about probably just doing it every Friday. Yes. Uh, and, and, and we'll be listening to independent music. I got a ton of it that was sent to me. And if we have this, you know, Luda Chris and Nelly pop off. I'll uh, probably get a bunch more sent to me. Uh, so we're going to, you know, break down and listen to 10, 12 songs. And I'm also setting up this virtual open mic. So, you know, and I got some people who, who want to do that. So we we should have a really good show on um, on Friday. Be a really good show, man. We need more, not, we need more R&B music. verses for you to stream, man. I think we got some, uh, uh, some people sent some R&B music in there. No, no, R&B verses is... is... Oh, versus, oh, uh, oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Because you seem to get a lot more um, submissions, right, for, for music? Yeah, I haven't even the... listened to, I haven't had a chance to go listen to, to what's been sent. I got like 35 tracks. Wow. From so 35 been, artists. From 35 different artists. Wow. Right, right. So, you know, you know, you know, I got to go listen to it and. You know, I'm going to start from the first one and then work my way back and start contacting people to say, hey, you know, you're going to be on this show here. So that is dope, man. Yeah, yeah, that it's, is it's dope. pretty dope. It's pretty dope. You know, so inside no cop that new car album, Descendants of Game, man. That album is tough, bro. Go listen to it. My two favorite songs, Painting Saints and of course, Sins of the Father produced and wrapped on with Rock Marciano. Stop playing around, man. But Descendants of Cain, Ka. Cop that album, man. It's a great album, man. Trust. I haven't had a chance to listen to it, but I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm take a listen to it. Uh, I'm putting in the chat right now my email address. So if you got music, man, send me send me the music. Put my email address right here in the chat. Make sure you send it in. All right, and make sure that you have when you send in the music, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure that you have. You gotta have the artist name, the bio. The name of the song or the album, the artwork, and all your social media information. If not, then I can't play the song. You got to make sure that you have all of that information there. All right. Again, I'm sending it in. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, putting my email in the YouTube chat. And ladies and gentlemen, I will see you guys on Friday. Um, appreciate you guys for being here. Thanks, you know what I'm saying? Uh, thanks for having me on, Sim. I appreciate yeah, you for being here, on, man. Baby. Appreciate you for being here. And I am going to take this one out with, you know, another obscure song. See, I can play some of the obscure songs because they haven't been released. So, you know, you can get away with it. I'm going to play another obscure song. I am going to play my man Nas, Stay Scheming. Uh, 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 uh. Tell my niggas. I'm going to say Big Daddy Kane. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. All right, peace, guys. All right, man. Peace, y'all. Looking back in time When I had on my shine I saw you standing there I never tried to diss you You didn't need your pistol Why'd you have to take it there? But then again It was just my imagination When my crew told me it was you that was player hating, and we had to have that terrible confrontation. There's nothing I can do to help this situation. Rosco, y'all niggas kill me. Niggas wanna get at me. Why? But you never do. No. Stay scheming. Niggas wanna kidnap me Check it out Check it out. It's been a while since the last time we hung out. Full of weed, drinking Henny till we all pass out. Stretch Bentley, Queens Click, pushing mean whips. 
And the hoe I'm with, glad who she seen with. Shorty with the dawn, me and horse switch calls. Jazz walk for the six, this is shit, Paul. Thug nigga, never thought I'd get this far. Who is that icing me from over there that far? You got the Mac guard, you got the Gat Paul. Damn, why we gotta do it to the black guard? Every time we chillin', niggas wanna act hard. My nigga jungle known to slap a nigga backward. So we chill, pay up no mind. Think about some other shit, I'm for the love of this. Starving niggas always plotting on the brother chips. Can't even chill, cause all these niggas just stay scheming. Niggas wanna get at me. Now y'all know where Rick Ross got that hook from, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of people don't know about that. It's where Rick Ross got that hook from. And by the way, that was not me talking. That's whoever the mixtape dude was. 